Hi everyone, I'm Steve Sabin and welcome to another segment of our Exploring Setpoint series. Today we're going to be looking at our condition monitoring software that's currently in development. We're very excited about this software. We're planning to release it in the June-July time frame of this year, so it's coming up pretty quickly here in several months. And uh, we would like to show you today the one of the milestones we've reached, which is basically the ability of the setpoint system to stream waveform data from our monitoring modules through our system access module and over to a Pi historian where the waveform data can be historized and then displayed in our new setpoint CMS client. From a future, uh, or rather a past uh, segment of our Exploring Setpoint series, <clears throat> we talked about our universal monitoring module. It's basically the workhorse of the system and is sampling the vibration waveforms and looking at the amplitude and the frequency and other aspects of that waveform and creating alarms off of that for machinery protection purposes. Because we're collecting that waveform, uh, we don't have to throw it away. We can keep it. And what we have now done in the setpoint system is we take the waveform data that's being collected by our UMM and we can take it down the back plane of the system to our system access module. And you may recall that we have two processors in our system access module. An ARM processor that handles Modbus communications and some other tasks, and our Intel-based processor running Windows 7 Embedded. In addition to driving our touchscreen display, this processor is able to basically buffer our waveform data from the rack and then stream it out to our condition monitoring software. So let's take a look at a rack that is actually doing that. It's actually collecting vibration data and it's actually streaming that data over to our Pi Historian. You can bring the camera around the back of the rack and you'll see we have a machine simulator with a rotating mass. It's running at about 1800 RPMs and that's actually that sound you can kind of hear in, in the video. You can see that there's vibration probes that are observing that shaft as it vibrates. And those probes are coming into our setpoint rack here. Uh, once in the setpoint rack, once in those universal monitoring modules, that waveform data is sent down the back plane to our SAM, out the SAM through this blue cable, our Ethernet cable. Uh, that Ethernet cable is coming from the rack over here to our little computer running the Pi server software. And that is what's actually historizing those waveforms that are being streamed out of our setpoint rack. And once that, uh, once that waveform data is stored in here, now we can look at it just like we can any other kind of data that's stored in the Pi database. So we'll cut away now to our, uh, our setpoint CMS software. We have kind of a prototype version of software that's running. It's collecting data. And we're going to zoom in now on an orbit time-based plot. Uh, for one of the bearings on our machine simulator and you'll notice as I'm talking here that that orbit is actually changing subtly about every two seconds or so and our system is set right now to collect that data at two second intervals and store it uh, in systems that customers actually deploy they might elect to collect the data faster than that or they might elect to collect the data at a slower rate than that but it's a, a significant milestone for us to actually be able to stream the data through the rack, out the front of the rack in the SAM, over to Pi, and actually be historizing waveforms as you've seen in this video. We're very excited about that. It was a significant milestone for our development team to actually show that we could store this high-speed waveform type data in the Pi database. Uh, and, and now to be able to uh, display that in our, in our software client. So thank you for watching. We appreciate you joining us for this Exploring Setpoint series, and we look forward to seeing you on our next segment.